All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to Civics. I know it's early in the morning, so I do guys, I appreciate you guys coming on. Um, really quickly, for those of you that are just jumping in, if you have not done so already, I would appreciate it if you went into Edsby, into your Civics class, and you downloaded these two documents right here. These two documents are what we're gonna be doing in class today. Uh, we're gonna do a reading. We've done these in class before, these worksheets. And then this is the actual work that you're gonna do. And I'm gonna give you guys a chance to work on it together today for a little bit. Um, so the reading won't take long. I wanna put you guys in the breakout rooms to allow you the opportunity to uh, talk to each other and do the work together. Um, can somebody tell me when are assignments due for you guys? Anybody feel free to unmute yourself and jump in. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. when? Once, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, kind of. Whenever we, have a, we have Zoom meetings. Whenever we have a Zoom, is that Justin? Yeah. Justin, if we have a, an assignment, if I give you an assignment today, when is it due? It's due Thursday. Okay. It's due the next Zoom meeting, right? Yes. So if you guys see here, um, you're going you're gonna to do this document here. I just clicked on it. Um, we're going to do this together in a moment. This thing is going to be due Thursday at 9 a.m. No exceptions, okay? There, on your end, you're going to have a submit box. You click onto it, and that's where you submit your work. Um, if you're having problems, if you don't understand something, or you're having uh, computer issues, or something came up, do you just not do it? Or what would be the proper procedure? Again, anybody can, can jump in. Uh, you can do it on paper and pencil. Office and, hours. Okay, then, and how am I going to get that? Um, well, you can take a picture of it. Okay, you can take a picture of it. Or if you need help, what do you do? Office hours. Office, Office hours. Oh, guys. I'm literally sitting here from 2 to 3 every day waiting for you guys to come on and waiting for you guys to ask me questions. Uh, hang on one second. All right, and that, that's what I'm, I'm here for. I can pull up the screen, I can walk you through answers, all that kind of good stuff, okay? Um, so again, you're gonna need to download these two things. This activity is gonna be due uh, Thursday at 9 a.m. Uh, you had an assignment due today, and I went on this morning and looked at it, and a lot of you guys have not turned that in. The assignment from last Thursday, where you had to watch the videos and tell me what type of uh, propaganda. Make sure you do that. Friday. Yeah, it was last Thursday. So you guys had five days to do it. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so bear with me here. Does everybody, can you guys see what I'm looking at here? Yes. What, what do you, yeah. Robbie? What do you see on your screen? I see the role of media. Is it the crossword puzzle? No. 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 What do you see? The reading. We see the reading. Yes. You see the reading where it says what? The role of media. Okay. Yep. What we're going to talk about today, guys, is the media. How does the media influence uh, elections? How does it influence how people vote? Um, you're going to notice, especially over the next few months, you're probably seeing a lot of politics on TV. Uh, with this coronavirus thing, the two sides, Democrat and Republican, are kind of blaming each other. Um, you're, how many of you guys have seen political uh, commercials? Have you guys seen anything like that where one side is attacking the other? Yes. Robbie? Yes. You've seen those kind of things? Yeah. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to read through this. I'm going to have you guys read it. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the work. And then the second part of the class today, you guys are going to uh, break out into groups and have a chance to discuss the work with each other. Okay? Naomi, did you have a question, kiddo? No, sorry. You raised your hand. Nick, did you have a question? And no, I, I, I just did that by accident. Okay. Um, if you do have a question, guys, you don't need to raise your hand. Just, just hop in and say something, okay? 
Um, let's see here. David. Mr. Seji, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you read this first opening paragraph right here for us? Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate the, it. The word media means different things depending on how it is used. Media is the plural form of the word medium. A medium is a method of communicating information, entertainment, or other messages. Television is one of popular media. Radio, the internet, and the cell phones are all examples of the common, wait, communal, wait, I can't say that. Right, right. Commonly. Common, oh yeah, commonly used media. The term mass media refers to methods of communicating with large numbers of people. A lot of media exists purely for entertainment, such as movies and televisions, sitcoms, but when you hear the phrase the media, usually it is referring to the source of our news and information about the current events. Paying attention to the media is how we stay informed about what's going on in the world around us and what our government is doing. All right, David, thank you. I appreciate it. Excellent reading. So when you hear the term the media, they mean the news, okay? The media can be television, it can be newspapers, it can be magazines. Collectively, it's called the media. You may have heard this term before, mass media. Mass media is any media that reaches a large audience. Internet is mass media. Television is mass media. That makes sense to you guys? Um, so what does the media do? So you see here, the media has a couple of different roles. It is a gatekeeper, it is a business, um, it's a watchdog. We're gonna learn what these things are. Eli, are you there, sir? Yes. Can you read where it says the media as a gatekeeper? I'm gonna blow it up on my screen. Oh, there. My A gatekeeper stands guard at a gate and decides who gets to pass through, through and who doesn't. In its role as a gatekeeper, the media decides which stories and issues are important even enough to receive public attention and which aren't. As, as a citizen, it is important for, <clears throat> for you to realize there are many serious events and issues you will never hear about on the evening news. Each news outlet ha has its own criteria for de deciding which stories get through the gate and into the public into the public eye. To understand why you need to understand two things. To understand why you need to understand two things. The media is a business and the media is almost always Bias, yeah, bias. All right. So all media has a little bit of bias built into it. Um, the media is kind of what sets the agenda. They're the ones that get us talking about different things. So when you go onto a news website, if they choose not to report on something, do you hear about it? Nope. Probably not. Um, so bear that in mind when you read a magazine or you read the newspaper the media is kind of deciding like what it is that we're talking about. Um, you also need to understand that the media is a business. It is meant to make money. Um, I'm gonna have, Riley, are you there, kiddo? Yes, I am. All right, I would appreciate it if you could read this for us because you're a good reader. All right, most people get their news information from television, radio, or newspaper, either print or online with the exception of PBS, the public broadcasting system. Most are commercial or for profit sources. They make money by selling time or space to advertisers, but advertisers won't pay for ads nobody else will see. So for profit media, so for profit media must make the news as exciting as possible to attract lots of viewers. Can you keep going? All right. But let's face it, news programs are not all as exciting as they say. Action films, in order to survive in today's culture, wait. television news must keep things short, fast-paced, and exciting. 
on the hour radio news is even shorter stories most likely get through the gate well, stories most likely to get to the gate are those that are the most gripping ever wonder why the news is full of car crashes and house fires yeah when you see most number of people when you typically look at the news is it really happy feel good kind of stuff no sometimes sometimes but usually it's stuff that's sensationalized why yes why to is make that it more exciting yeah so you get more viewers um the way that the news channels make money is the more people that watch it the more they're able to charge companies to run commercials that's how they make their money so bear in mind when you're watching the news and sometimes it seems like oh man it's all like negative stuff or it's all sensationalized there's a reason for that um again it's it's to make money um so we're going to continue on here the next part is for biased. Um, Nate Fields, are you there, sir? Nate, are you with us? I guess not. Do I have a volunteer to read this for us? Nick? I got you, Mr. Mellon. All right, go for it. Okay. Um, bias means favor favoring one viewer over another. As a human being, it is impossible to be completely unbiased, even if you try. The media is made up of humans being, therefore, even, even when media outlets try to be unbiased, they're not always successful. Bias may cause the media to open the gate to some stories instead of others, or to report stories. Okay. Someone's calling me. Okay. Um, some stories instead of others, or to report stories in a way that is weighted towards one side. There are many causes of bias. The most common, the most common among the media sources, is being more politically liberal, leaning toward the Democrats, or conservative, leaning toward the Republican. Excellent. So all media has some bias built in. Um, different news stations are better. Uh, the BBC is, is very fair. The Economist magazine, Time magazine, there are a lot of really good news sources. When they talk about bias, um, do you guys know what CNN is? News. Yes. Have you guys um, seen that on TV? They are very liberal. Um, if you go to their website, most of the stories are negative when it comes to President Trump. Um, they tend to favor Democrats. If you go to Fox News, they tend to be very conservative. Um, so if you went to a Fox News website or just Fox News website uh, that's on the internet, you're gonna see uh, articles that attack Democrats. They have a bias built in. And you gotta be very careful when you just rely on one news source and you want to try as possible, as much as possible to rely on news sources that are not biased, PBS, BBC, uh, the Economist, like I said earlier, uh, Al Jazeera is pretty good. And there's a lot of different ones. Um, the media as an agenda setter. Can I have a volunteer to read this for us, please? I got you. Go for it. Uh, is that Jensen? As agenda, agenda setter. Right. Because of its role as gatekeeper, the media is largely responsible for deciding what issues society discusses in the public sphere. That means the media also determines which issues are on the public agenda, which is the to-do list of issues the public agrees are a priority. An issue won't get on the public agenda unless it is being discussed in the public sphere, and it won't be discussed in the public sphere if nobody has heard about it. All right, can you keep going right here? Yep. The media's role as an agenda setter is controversial. 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 Some people don't think for-profit corporations should set a public agenda. They worry that many important issues will never get public attention. Some issues just aren't exciting enough to complete with entertainment. Other issues are too complex to fit into a short sound bite. Although the public decides which issues to care about. The media only tells the public about a few 
a few of the issues that exist. There are four people worried that the public does not really have much of a choice what issues are important. People also worry that a biased media influences the public agenda toward one or toward one way of thinking over another. Okay, so again, the media kind of dictates to an extent of what the public is talking about is what this is saying. Um, a lot of times they have these things called sound bites. A sound bite is a quick, short uh, news story just meant to get your attention, almost like clickbait. You guys know what clickbait is? Yes, sir. What is clickbait? Yeah, we're on YouTube. Clickbait is like where they they put something up that's not really what the the thing is, or like what the video or the advertisement or the food or whatever it is. Okay. So they make you want to like come in and like either like look at it watch it exactly so it, yeah, the news media does that too um yeah. probably the most important thing though oh, is okay. the media as a watchdog what this means guys the reason that we have the first amendment right to freedom of the press the main job of the news media is to report on what the government is doing oh. so the government yeah. can't do what Spy on us. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Um, give us false give, information. Give us false information. Exactly. If the government does something wrong, what's very likely to happen? Uh, because we have freedom of press in this country. Uh, the media and the press would be all over it. Exactly. Does that mean that people tend to be more informed when we have freedom of the press? Yes. 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 That's a good thing. Can I get a volunteer? Um, to read the media as a watchdog. I can. Go for it. A real watchdog stands as a guard and barks loudly to alert the owner that there's something wrong. In its role as watchdog, the media keeps watch on the government and others in power. It speaks out to alert the public if something happens that shouldn't. Local news stations often have a segment in which they investigate problems or people. Entire hour-long news shows are devoted to expos ex exposés, exposés, which are stories designed to expose wrongdoing. Hold on one um, second. Have you guys ever seen like on Channel Eight News? They do like Eight on Your Side, and they do investigate. We investigated this local business who was ripping people off. Okay. them. That's what they're talking about. Oh. Continue. I keep going? Okay. Yeah. Government officials who engage in bad behavior know they will be on every new show and newspaper in the country if they are caught. Yeah. Although a watchdog will bark when there is something wrong, most of the time the watchdog just watches. Thanks to the media, we live in a world where we can turn on the television and watch our government in action at, at any given moment. Stations such as C-SPAN broadcast activity directly from the floor of Congress for everyone to see. Simply reporting information is playing watchdog too. That the media will not know what is happening behind closed doors. Very good. Excellent work. Um, this news station, C-SPAN, um, if you guys have Bright House or uh, AT&T, you have two channels. One of them is the uh, House of Representatives and the other one's the Senate. So you can actually watch live Congress making laws. So they're, they're on TV at all times. Um, this last part where it says the media's audience, you, can I have a volunteer please to read that for us? I can read it. Go for uh, it. You can go, Justin. Not, okay. A watchdog doesn't do any good if nobody is paying attention. The public sphere and public agenda both depend on the same thing the public, which is made up of people like you. If the media reported an event and nobody watched or responded, it would have no influence at all. In the same way, the public influences the media because the media can't function without people's attention. How people respond to the media's reporting can affect which stories get through the gate. All right, excellent work, I appreciate it. All right, so hopefully you guys understood that. Um, I'm gonna bring up the, the work. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, all right? And then I'm gonna put you guys in the breakout rooms. Um, what do you guys see on your screen? Uh, we see the work. 
You see the work? Crossword the, puzzle. See the crossword puzzle. Um, so on yours, you should be able to, to type into it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one or two together. Yeah. And this is a, an opportunity for you guys to actually get your work done now. So it's, it's done. Okay. Um, and so on your screen, you probably want to have the work up and the reading up. Again, we've done these in class. There's um, the crossword puzzle is just usually the bold words or the big words uh, that are in the reading. So let's do one or two together. So two across says right here, the sources of our news and information about current events. Anybody want to guess what goes here? What are they talking about? What is the source of the news called? The media. It's called the media. So on your paper, you literally would put in I know it's kind of tedious because you got to click on each one of them. I know. The media. Just like that. Let's do another one together. One down. One who stands guard at the gate and decides who gets to pass through. Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. So the media decides which stories are worthy of your attention and which ones aren't. So, and again, that's straight out of the reading. Just like that. Were you guys, give me a thumbs up if you were able to follow that and no trouble. Thumbs up, thumbs up noise. Thank you, Riley, I appreciate it. Guys, everybody give me a thumbs up. If you're having trouble, let me know. So I want you to be able to do this. Lucas, Clay, I need to hear from you guys highly. Or see from you guys, I guess. Okay. All right, moving on. You guys understand this part? Yes. Down here, match each example with the role that it illustrates. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to click on this. It's already done for you, isn't it? No. Is it letting you guys click on anything? No. Yeah, it's right oh, next to the... Um, you see where I'm clicking? Yeah. That's where you click. Do you guys understand? Next to the arrow, yeah. So what you're doing is you have, here's the role of the media, and then here's like a little story, and you're, you're, you're matching. So if you were doing this on paper, you would, you would draw a line or just write the letter, but it has this little box here. So let's do this first one together. The media begins reporting about, and I'm reading from right here, about a disgusting looking ingredient found in many common foods. Soon, everyone is talking about the ingredient. People begin signing petitions, and soon there is a major movement to convince the government to outlaw the ingredient. When the, when the media is exposing wrongdoing, what are they doing? Agenda setting. Okay. So you would say F there? Yeah? Yeah. You yeah. think so? Yeah. yeah. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Or would that be watchdog? It could be either one, I think. It could, well, it's got to be one or the other. No, the watchdog, I think, is because what about the government one? does something bad. Right, so a politician, let's do this one. A politician accepts expensive gifts from a campaign support. Two television networks run an hour-long expose about the politician's bad behavior. The politician returns the gift and resigns from office. No, me. Would that be a watchdog? That's a watchdog. That's I it. Okay. Know me. You guys understand? Yeah. Yes. Moving along. It's code out. So here's what you have. These are newspaper headlines. Oh, Each sweet. pair of headlines introduces the exact same story. Read the headlines and answer the question. So this one says... Daily prestige, foreclosure rates, hold steady. Foreclosure is when they take your house away from you because you're not paying your mortgage. That's sad. They kick you out. So foreclosure rates are about the same. This one says US home seizures reach record for the third time in five months. Which one emphasizes that a lot of homes are being foreclosed on, A or B? Hmm. B. A. I heard two different answers. B. So your answer is there. Because this one is this one is kind of sensationalizing it and making it seem like it's a big problem. Yeah, it gives more info. Which one is trying not to alarm people? A. 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 Good. And which one sounds more dramatic and more kind of like clickbait? B. 
a this is the one you're gonna read like ooh, who's getting kicked out um you guys understand how to do this section yeah. yes one fourth of it. definitely um so it just goes through here and then on this one it's what's your agenda you're gonna try your hand at being what's called a media mobile it's like you run your own newspaper imagine you are creating a news and opinion publication the first thing you need to do is set the focus of your right. paper and create an agenda. This is all opinion based, so this shouldn't be hard. So what you do, mix and match. Match an intention with an issue to create your own personal agenda. So over here, what is your intention? I want to and you can pick raise it. awareness about coronavirus. Okay. Raise awareness about finding a cure for COVID-19. Right? Yeah. Or you could do uh, change people's mind about uh, homelessness. Oh, you only have to do one? Or whatever you want to do. Wait, do you, but you have to do like one though. You can't do yeah. like two. Exactly. You pick one from over here. And you oh, that's easy. With an issue. So I want to raise awareness about <laughs> poverty in America. Whatever your agenda is if you were running your own newspaper. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then down here, you're going to put it into a sentence. Meow. It says, my agenda is to... Raise awareness. It starts uh, writing on the my agenda. <laughs> oh, that sucks. If you press enter, that'd just be easier. You just hit space bar, it goes over. Um, raise, Eat all children. Raise <laughs> awareness about... Raise... Blah, blah, blah. blah. Whatever you're Bra thinking. Yeah, you're, that's you're actually like what I believe in. You're rather, literally rather, rather, rather. two things. I want to raise yeah. awareness about blah, blah, it blah. It says promote your agenda. Create three headlines that will appear on your website or your newspaper. So much they work. Can be, they can be they really oh, they can be news stories or editorials. So if we did raise awareness about poverty, maybe our news story is... Um, Mahatma Gandhi didn't eat in weeks. Poverty. Let's change raise, that. Right. Ra raises in America by five. Citizens uh, are having homes foreclosed. Whatever. Okay. Do you guys understand? Yes. Yes. So, yes. So <laughs> right or wrong answer, really? Legalness. Not, not really. Guys, we have about 30 minutes of class left. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to put you guys into um, breakout rooms. This is your chance, guys. Talk. And when you're in the breakout rooms, you're just, you guys are participating. This is your chance to walk through the work and do it together. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. yes sir. Uh, an invite. I'm going to keep the breakout rooms open for about five yeah. minutes. Yeah, I'm bold. Please go in and guys, go for it. I didn't get a room. Who's that? Yeah, yeah I didn't get a room either. Because you guys. Yeah, same. Bear with me. I'll put you in a room. Okay. Guys, just so you understand that at like 9, 905 I go. Okay. It'll be just a moment. My computer is running a little, little slow. We should be getting um, breakout room assignments. Nate, Lucas, you should have gotten a, a thing.
C I U M. U N. No, U M. Which one are you got? Oh, we're doing the crossword puzzle. Which which number are you on? Uh, we have four so far. Okay. Uh, Riley, Reagan, you got to unmute yourselves and participate, please. Yep. Yo, guys, I found number 10, or 10, okay. what's it called? A cross. And a cross There's not favoring any view. What is that? Unbiased. Unbiased. Good. All right, I'm going to hop around. <laughs> Josh, I can just imagine what else would be one frame per second. If you know what I mean. I didn't I didn't know this game had sound. It's kind of annoying. So guys, which one are we on? There's been no improvement. I'm sorry? We're on the first okay. thing. We haven't really done anything. All right, you guys need to stay busy. You understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch and then dog. W A T C H D O G. Okay, thank you, Justin. Are you guys doing okay? Yeah, we're doing yeah. pretty good. All right, which one are you guys on? You doing the crossword puzzle? We're still, yes. yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave these rooms open until about like 9 55. Um, at that point, I do have to shut it down because I have to go to a meeting. But um, okay. You guys are it gives you like 15 minutes to help each other. You should be able to get most of the work done. I would think. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. What's up, guys? What's cool? Hi. Which one are you guys working on? The crossword. On the crossword. But, uh, do you need any help, or which number are you on? Um, we are. We just need number four, six, and nine. Four down? I need yeah. 10 and right, 11. So let's do four down. I'll help you guys, okay? Um, methods okay. of communicating with large numbers of people. Guys, six is media. You know that, right? What? Yeah. Six, six is media. Is media. Mm -hmm. M E D I A. So guys, when there's uh, yeah, but where like, is six? I can't see it. It's all the way on the right. Oh. So guys, for number um, Callie, which one were you asking about, kiddo? Four. Four. Yeah. So for four down, if you look in the reading, it's the very first paragraph. It's the third bold word. Mass, Mass media. Yeah. When you, so like if if Mr. Mellum posts something to Edsby. Technically, that's media, but is it mass media or is it for a really small audience? Small audience. Yeah, it's just you guys, right? Mass media is YouTube. 
Because why? Because there's a lot of people that can view it. Yeah. How many views can you get on YouTube? Um, like lots. Is there any limit? No. Yeah. I mean, if you have a popular video, you can get into the millions, right? Yes. Okay. Were there any other ones you guys needed help with? I need nine, 10, and 11. All right. Let's do those. Number I nine. Got, I got all those. You do? Yeah. Okay. Caleb, what's number nine? Person responsible for paying attention to the media. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have nine. I have 10 and 11, though. Well, let's do number nine. What person is responsible for paying attention to the news media? Um, three, three letters. You. Yeah, you. Y O U. Wait, then. Is number three medium? Yeah. Wait, is 10 non biased? Then wait. Unbiased. Unbiased. Oh. Then wait. Wait, what? Are you talking about three down, Dylan? Yeah. A oh, maybe I, maybe I spelled it wrong. Medium, M-E-D-I-U-M. -E oh, okay, I did an A. Yeah. What's another one that you guys need help with? Ten and eleven. Ten. The unbiased. Ten unbiased. unbiased. What's ten and three? Unbiased. Wait, what? Medium. I said those like thirty times. Wait, what's ten? Unbiased. Unbiased. And what's eleven? Biased. Favoring, favoring one view is the opposite of unbiased. Oh, so biased. Yes. All right, I'm going to hop out. Guys, I'm going to keep the rooms open until 9.55. That gives you 15 minutes to work together to get this done. All right? Um, and then we're going to close up shop at that point. Okay? Got it? Yes. yes. Sir. Right. You're doing that. Wait, I need to know what six down is. <laughs> Media. Right, hold up. I just okay. got my eggs. So, what's up, Mr. Mel? How are you doing? We're doing good. We're doing pretty you guys good. We almost finished the crossword puzzle. We got it. Um, we don't think so. Think you're good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just yes. need help with uh, five down. Five down? All yeah. right. A uh, word that means for profit. So um, making money. So let's go to the, let me pull up my reading here. Uh, go back to the thing. So if you look at the media as business, yeah. are you? You see the picture of the guy who's holding all the $100 bills? Yeah. What's that first bold word? Um, it says gatekeeper. B is for business. That's the paragraph that I'm looking at. Okay. Uh, gatekeeper, B is for business. Okay. I'm looking at that. What's the first bold word that they have in that oh, first commercial. paragraph? Commercial. So if something is commercial, that means it's a business and they're trying to make money. Oh, okay. That makes sense? Yep. All right. Any other Which ones you guys need help with? I think we're good. You think you're good? I'm going to keep the breakout room open about another 10 minutes for you guys. That's your chance to, you know, share answers and work together. And then we got to stop. Okay. Okay. All right. See you, Mr. Moon. See ya. Number doing, 10 on the... Are we doing okay in here? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, Miss Tori, I'm gonna keep the room open until about 9.55 and okay. they can work together and then I gotta close it up. That sounds good. All right. Okay, let's, let's actually get some more stuff. Done. Okay, media rolls. Uh, funny joke, Jim. Um, media. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Good. Oh, we're doing good. pretty good. We're almost but done with the first one. We're done with the crossword puzzle. Okay. Wait, you are? Good. I have one left. Carlos, were you even listening? Oh, that was yes, loud. I have one left. Which, Which one do you have left? Uh, six. Six down is media. Media. M-E-D-I-A. Got it. Boom, I'm done with the crossword right. puzzle. Are you guys doing okay? Like you're able to work and function? Yeah. Yes. Wait, why is number three me the media? And number six is media. What's the difference? Well, one has the and the other one has media. <laughs> well put, Wyatt. Um, Once uh, longer. Yeah. I think they just needed to fill up the puzzle. Yeah, number six is just plural word, plural of the word. Somebody had, to, somebody had to justify their job, I guess. 
All right, oh, guys, I'm gonna keep the room open for about another 10 minutes so you guys can talk and work together. I will be checking back in to make sure that's what you guys are doing. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I ate like four or peeps. Of peeps. I only got one package of peeps and they're gone. I they forgot about peeps. <gasps> I've eaten the most popcorn that I've ever eaten in my entire life. That's exciting. I hate popcorn. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just checking on you gals. How are we doing? We're doing good. Where are we We're at? On the last one. We're on the promote your agenda thing. So you did the crossword puzzle and the... No, matching. we haven't done that yet. We did the whole role of the media. We did okay. that. Thing. Okay. We did all that. You're making your own agenda. Any trouble? Any questions? Any ones you don't know? No. I have right. one question, right. though. Is it bad to be running on 30 minutes of sleep for three days? Yes. Probably. Yeah, my uh, sleep schedule's messed up, too. But, hey. There's a leak in my wall, and it's making a constant shh All right. sound. Girls, so. I'm going to keep the room open until 9.55. That's your chance to talk and um, get work done. And then at that point, we'll shut it down. Okay? Okay. All right. 10 more minutes. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll just mute my mic. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm muting my mic because there's lawnmowers outside. Are you outside? No, I'm not outside. They could just hear them <laughs> through my window. Oh, okay. It's not loud. Like, you can barely hear it. How are we doing in here? What What are you guys on? Uh, we just finished, well, um, yeah, we just like, finished uh, the, the media. media like it not crossword the thing where you draw the lines the, okay the matching part yeah you're on, no, the, the, you're on the headline this, influence the second one uh, yeah, yeah no, now we're on like the news okay so you're on the second one yeah where it says yeah. indiana students don't graduate yeah okay so let's you get like so number four five and six yes huh? what I'm trying to oh, figure out where you guys that. are so I can make sure you're understanding. Oh, we're on the thing that says like the daily prestige. Okay. You know? So we did that one as a class. So the one that's to the right where it has numbers four, five, and six, is that the one that you're on? Oh, I did that one. Did Wait, that one? no. We we did the we did the media rolls thing wrong. We need to redo something. Did? Yeah, the second one is C. Oh. Where it says 200 people rally in the street instead of covering the event. Yeah, yeah media is media, the gatekeeper because they're deciding which stories are getting reported on. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Did you um, guys need I, help with any of them? No, we don't really need help. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. All right. I'm gonna bounce around. We're gonna I'm gonna close the rooms in about six or seven minutes. Okay. Okay. Wait, so for the four, five, and six? No. How's it going, guys? Good. Where are we at? Uh, I was finished with the crossword puzzle, but my browser closed, so I have to restart. Oh, okay, so they're helping you catch up. Allie, yeah. you doing okay, kiddo? Um, kind of. Kind of? You guys need any help with any of them? Not, not so far. No, not really. Not so far. You guys, they were, you were able to finish the crossword and then the matching. Uh, I got, I was like two away from finishing the, uh, the matching. I'm gonna keep the room open for about six or seven more minutes, and then we'll shut it down at that point. Okay. All right. All right. This, the first one is saying, um. Oh, how Iraq is stronger than the administration is admitting. Oh, yeah, I see. And then the B is the uh, quality, how uh, something yeah, is weaker. Yeah, and then it is B. D and then 11 would be A. And then the last one, which one sounds more alarming? A. Yeah. So if anyone didn't get that, it's B, A, A. All right, uh, Penison, a pension cut plan may save over five. COVID. 
Did you type the word on the line? And then David, on the thing. For the agenda. Shut up. On the thing, David, for agenda is to, you write the um the agenda. Because first you do like the wall bubbles and then um under that I'll say write your agenda in one sentence. Our ears. Um Callie, did you, you write, write that, that word on the line? What word? Oh, I didn't do one of those. I did an America's healthcare system. For number 15. Oh, I got We're not on that. We, we've been on that. No, we're not. We're on the next one. <laughs> were you able to t were you able to type the word? No. No. And then now we're on the um, the last. No, I'm about about playing it. a video game. I'm gonna die. No, don't die. You finna die. I am gonna die. You're right. No, I knocked one of them. Man's playing solos in Fortnite. How are we I'm doing? Playing, that? I'm playing duos by yeah. myself. We're doing good, Mr. Mellon. Yeah, you guys need to be focused on the work. That's why we're in here. Yeah. Yeah, my brother just came into my room, and he said you had, when you were his teacher, you had a really long ponytail. I had, yeah, I had hair down to just past my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that's before, can you see me? Yeah, we can see you. That's before this. Man. Yeah, it's old age. It <laughs> It'll happen to all of you guys. Yeah, he said he, he, said he used to call you Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's what he told fine. me. Tell him I said hi. Okay. It's um, before Mr. Mellon's gonna close out the class, so just try to get as much done. And if you have any more questions for whoever is in your group, go ahead and ask them now, so you have a chance. Guys, I'm still on number one. Oh, nobody cares. What are you talking about? We Please did that one in class. What's up, guys? Hi. You doing okay? We, yeah, we Forget finished. Out. We're working on the headline influences. We just did the okay. media. Yeah, okay, that should be easy because that's kind of just you making. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Isn't number five? Uh, uh, you're gonna get a message in like two minutes to leave the breakout room, and then we're pretty much done. Is it okay. number five both? Because it's like um, it's talking about how both of them. Did. What's a person responsible for paying attention to the media? I don't number nine. Know. You. I'm responsible for that? Yeah, why owe you? <gasps> oh. Why is it important to pay attention to the media? So that you know what's like going on at all times, yeah. like the coronavirus. Well, especially yeah. now because um, there was a, I live out in Pinellas County, and one of the things they were talking about doing was reopening all the beaches. Oh, that's such a smart idea. Yeah, no, it isn't. <laughs> they really um, I would, no, no, no. I would be one of the first people to go, so. But that's the problem. Is that they, they opened the beaches. No, it wasn't, like, to be honest. They no, opened the beaches was. In, in Jacksonville, yeah. and people just flocked to it. Um, so paying attention to the media and being aware that these things are happening uh, is how you stay informed and make informed decisions, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello. You're muted. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, guys, I hope that, that worked out for you guys. Make sure that you have this submitted to me by 9 a.m. Thursday. If you did not do the last assignment, which a lot of you did not do, make sure you have that in. I'm gonna send it out for you guys so it's done. Um, if you have questions or concerns, every day from two to three, I have office hours, even on non-civics days. Please come in, talk to me, um, and I can help you with your work. All right. So at this point, if you guys don't need anything, you are free to go and have a great day. Oh.